Hey everybody and welcome to an interview with Gage. <laughs> Today is his last day in the military. A lot of emotions and nervousness going on right now. <laughs> um, so before he departs from the military and leaves for work today, I just wanted to ask him questions about his whole entire experience in the military and just for documentation purposes so later on, you know, 20 years from now he can look back and enjoy it. So without further ado, we will get started with question number one. I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> You'll be glad I did. Okay. What are some of the highlights from your eight plus long year career? I think more of just uh, meeting all the different people. You know, mm -hmm. all, from all around the world and getting their insight and their experiences, learning from them mm -hmm. um, and then just building that, that camaraderie with all of them. Um, it's one of the big things and then also uh, being a part of the mission. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I switched jobs, you know, I started off as a cop, you know, I wasn't as happy. Mm -hmm. um, but then once I retrained into this new career field, it was just completely different. Alright, what made you want to join the military? Um, well, it was mostly uh, you actually. Yeah. <laughs> you're the biggest reason. Well, um, you've been training prior to that. I mean, yeah, I was training prior to it. I always wanted to join up and, and become a PJ, mm -hmm. um, be all hoorah and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I tried for it, I didn't make it because I failed my depth perception test. Dang. Yeah, I know. And then, uh,. <laughs> The quickest way for me to get in the, in the Air Force at the time was actually to join security forces. Everybody was telling me, no, don't do it. And I, I didn't really want to do it because I've heard horrible stories about it. Um, but I did it more for my family. Yeah. That was the quickest way for me to get in at the time. Mm -hmm. um, so I did it. And, uh, that was one of the biggest reasons. I was, yeah. My goal was to always retrain and try to go into tech later on. And, you know, I redid my depth perception test, I passed, I was good to go. I put in for my retraining package for Tech P and a few other things. Mm -hmm. um, but then I got picked up for... Probably one of the biggest reasons I joined was for my family, to take care of them, to have really good benefits. Mm -hmm. um, and the pay, is, the pay is not too bad, it could be a little bit better. Yeah. But um, overall the Air Force uh, was there and helped take care of my needs to take care of my family. Good stepping stone. Yeah. Uh, so some of my greatest achievements. Uh, some of them I can't really talk <laughs> about. Uh, but I mean, I've had some really cool experiences mm -hmm. in my job and I've achieved some awesome things, helping a lot of people. Um, but I guess one of the biggest achievements is is taking care of uh, my people, my subordinates. Mm -hmm. um, watch them grow from little airmen and then growing up to actual NCOs themselves. Um, so just mentoring them and taking care of them um, and then watching them take that next step of leading. So I think that's one of my biggest achievements. Cool. Alright, what made you want to get out of the military? <laughs> This one's probably the same answer as the one. It's probably the same. It's, it's, it's family reasons. I wanted to stay in for the 20 years as I thought I did. Um, but as time went on, I've been just growing so much closer with my family and having such a strong connection. Um, that yeah. our, our views changed on a lot of things. Um, our goals, what we wanted to do in life. Um, our biggest thing is we wanted just to settle down to start homesteading and growing a little farm, growing our family together. Um, and that's kind of hard to do in the military because you're always traveling around, TDY, deploying, PCSing, and stuff like that. So you don't know what your final stop will be. So the biggest reason, like, we wanted to we wanted to be stationary and living a biblical lifestyle, uh, being close to the Father. Uh, and he's, he's probably the ultimate one that's driving me to do this as well. He's definitely led me down this path and helped open doors left and right for me. Um, we're not guaranteed a tomorrow, uh, so, you know, I don't want to wait to my 20-year mark and then all of a sudden I'm not able to achieve my personal goals, my life goals, and, you know, start establishing a farm with the family. You know, it might be too late by that time, so why not start now?
Gage just got back. Let me know when you're reading my post. <laughs> I just want to read. I'm trying to pull his hard strings. <laughs> you got it? The villain? You see it? Look at that handsome man. Read it out loud. It's a lot to read. No, it's not. It's yeah, not it that is. long. I like. I uh, felt like it was too I short. I read. I felt like. <laughs> Flying out of the Air Force. <laughs> read it. I want to hear what part you're at. Come on. It's a lot to read. It's not that much. Did you get him past that back here? Shh, nookums. Shh, nookums. <laughs> right, to say that I'm proud of you would be a huge understatement. You were rushed into the career that you were provided with in the beginning and excelled in every way. When that career wasn't enough for you, train your butt off to succeed in another career path, and man, have you soared. Pun intended. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> With three children in the picture at the time, you managed to make up your countless hours of studying along with many work days of barely any sleep. You saved so many lives in front of any bad guys from doing harm, so I know your squadron will really miss having such a huge asset. You and I both know that getting out of the military has been a really difficult decision, so please also know that the father and I don't take it that way. The father has already been answering so many of your prayers and showing you obvious signs that it's the exact path that he wants you on, so I'm super stoked to see the mission that he has for you. I can't thank you enough for your time, effort, and commitment to not only serve our country, but to provide our family as well. I know that every person that has ever encountered you has been blessed by your friendship, so thank you for also being a light and what could be a dark career field. You shine brighter than you realize. I hope your last day in the military is one to remember. You mean, extremely, you mean everything to me and our little ones, and we feel extremely blessed that you are choosing us once again. Like you. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I love you. Now we Oh. Oh. <laughs> Silas wrote. Silas wrote me a letter as well. Gideon wrote. He drew you one. Oh. So I'll show you that one. I'll let him. I'll let him show you. Yeah. Silas said, "Daddy, thanks for getting the bad guys. I'm glad you are done, and you can spend time with us." And we are going to Texas in three days, and we can spend time with our cousins. And we will pray that the RV won't break, and we'll have a good road trip with our 3500. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I was, huh? You thought long and hard about that one, huh? Yeah, he did. He was sitting over there, Mom, how do you, how do you spell this word? Yeah. 